They're requesting funds be allocated by the state so him second fix their broken sewer system. Money was already allocated, if I'm not mistaken, allegedly $5 million that they did have. I wonder if all of that was used for the sewer system. But they want more money, and this is what this forum is going to address tonight. So make sure you tune in for more on the Barbara Caskets Show. Si alguien necesita traducción, por favor déjenme saber. Estamos aquí al frente para ayudar. Hola, Seren. It's good evening. Welcome. Um, I'm here in case anyone needs translation. And I'm sitting on the right side. Thank you. President Doug Tubbs. And, um, we, we can do it here. And if you go to the schools and look at the deplorable condition of those portables, um, it, it's, we, we've got to do something. And we've had a 33%, I think, is, is that correct, increase in the student population? Six thousand five hundred when we closed the doors June of twenty thirteen, and we have approximately one thousand students more. As and today. That's just in one year. And this it's been growing and growing and growing. So we've got to build new schools. Um we have a another um, initiative that Lance is going to tell you about with respect to the sewer system. Uh, for those of you who live in the Heights or on the Hill, you have probably had some experiences. Um, and we have got one of the oldest transfer stations right here on Front Street and Peninsula Boulevard. Um, the I have just been passed um, a um, vehicle and traffic law bill that has been introduced by assembly by Deputy Speaker Hooper A9569, which is going to create at, at the request of um, our illustrious pink tie wearing mayor with I like that suit by the way. Major Taylor. Um, the this is a um, relates to establishing in the village of Hempstead, the county of Nassau, a demonstration program implementing speed violation monitoring, monitoring systems in school speed zones by means of photo devices. Okay, so this, this bill is already there. Um, everything that happens in the state legislature and with the governor's office is based upon what leverage you may have at any particular moment in time. This happens to be a propitious moment in time where things can get done. And um, one of the things that we are going to be pushing, that we've been pushing now for several years, every session is passed in the assembly but we can't get the Republican-controlled state Senate <clears throat> to pass it. And that is a pilot, pilot legislation for the village of Hempstead, which would prevent any pilot programs from being approved in the village of Hempstead with respect to any type of development or any type of renewal of a prior pilot such as the experiences we've had with 100 um, terrorists and um, Martin Luther King, that that would be prevented. Uh, that it would have to come to this gentleman over here and to these trustees for their approval. And if they, didn't, if they say, no, we don't want that pilot program, it's dead in the water. 
That's what that legislation is. And you hear Wayne talking all the time about how many, how much property we have that's off the roads. And every time you have a payment in lieu of taxes, you're taking something off the roads. And when you take it off the roads, somebody's got to pay for it. And the people that pay for it are the remaining taxpayers and the remaining business people. So those are just some of the items that we have been working on. Um, the you, Your update on who your representative has become. Um, you should be proud. She works for you day in and day out. And folks, she doesn't take any enemies. I mean, she doesn't take any prisoners, I think, in the uh, real term. Divert possibly through Hempstead. Uh, we'll divert sewage out to, I believe it's uh, Cedar Creek. Okay, But the south side of the village, meaning south of Front Street, there is no allocation, there is no future plan, there is there was nothing until the deputy speaker stepped in. What it comes down to is you probably don't realize that there is $125 million worth of piping in, in the streets south of Front Street. And indeed, the most important part about that is much of it is in a state of disrepair. There's a good portion of it. And as Doug alluded to, some people have had sewage backups, all kinds of issues that happen. And that's because the system is old. And you can't keep adding new stuff without taking care of the old stuff and replace it, okay? You know yourself around your house. Something's old and it's gonna wear out and you just hope that the boiler doesn't go at the wrong time, okay? Well, it's the same problem with our water plant. Uh, and it's the same problem with this, the piping in the, in the streets. If we were to replace every pipe in the south side of the village, uh, and that means brand new pipe, dig up the streets and put new pipe in there, that's $125 million. That's a lot of money. Now, if we took those same streets and we did what they call uh, uh, lining, and well, it's called PVC lining. Well, the purpose of this meeting, uh, I had a discussion first uh, with the mayor, and not really with the mayor, with the complaints from you, the constituents. And I'm not going to preach to the choir because you are here. But this room should be standing room only. Because the complaints that I get as it relates to the sewer system, the basements over flooding, churches unable to have services, the serious issues as to waste going into places where there should not be, those persons, I don't see some of those persons who've complained to me loudly and viciously, ferociously, they're not here. And if you don't show up when someone is trying to help you, it sends a message that you really are not that sincere. So I'm asking each one of you to tell two other people, because you are here, that you should have been here tonight. Because I cannot do this alone as both as, as the mayor, the Thomas, and Lance Clark indicated, I cannot do this alone. And I certainly cannot do it without the A-team. And those are the persons with whom I, I spoke. I want to talk first about the um, sewer system. As Judge Clark indicated, the sewer system is very old. And any day, especially with the rainstorm, one Day, one of you is going to wake up and you're going to find in your living room foreign matter. And you're not going to be pleased because that sewer system is unable to sustain under the weight that has been imposed upon it over the years, especially in light of the fact that it was designed uh, to, how many years ago? Before I was born. And we've developed, and it cannot sustain, it's going to explode. And when I spoke with the mayor, and he explained to me 
that he was looking for funds because there was allegedly funds in the state budget for the Bay, Bay Park. And we thought that some of that money would be allocated to the village of Hempstead, but it's not really going to actually come to the village of Hempstead, but it got be, was there before, I, before the mayor told me about it. And so I went to the powers that be and indicated that the village of Hempstead is in dire need. And um, with the assistance of Judge Clark and the superintendent of the Hempstead DPW presented to me three, I believe, three plans. And I presented the three plans to the state <coughs> attorneys and the, those persons who are responsible for funds. And we chose a plan that we could begin and that plan brings us to $1,222,560. That is money that we're going to be using so that we can begin this probably five-year phase, about five-year phase, to remedy and renovate and rehabilitate the sewer system here in the village of Hempstead. So that has already started. We cannot tell you the streets because the way the city